Japan is one of the most tectonically active areas on the planet, lying on the convergent boundary between three plates, the Eurasian, which is continental, the Philippine, which is oceanic, and the Pacific, which is also oceanic. The Pacific plate is being subducted under the Eurasian plate, whilst the Pacific plate is being subducted under the other two. Convergent boundaries are often the scene of the most violent earthquakes in the world. As the oceanic plate is subducted under the continental one, the roughness of the terrain can cause it to get stuck. Over time, this leads to an increase in pressure until the two plates jolt past each other, resulting in a large tremor. In this case, the collision between the three plates rather than the two has put a substantial sideways strain on the Eurasian plate. The Eurasian plate has subsequently fractured, producing the median tectonic line to the north. As a result of this fracture, a strain was placed on the surrounding land, which has also fractured to form the Arima-Takatsuki line. A famous example of the power of these two fault lines is the Great Kanto Earthquake of 1923, which killed 140,000 people and destroyed 560,000 buildings in Tokyo and Yokohama. Kobe lies on the strip between Osaka Bay and the Rocco Mountains, and is a major industrial hub and port, handling more than 30% of Japan's commercial shipping in the early 1990s. It had a population of 1.5 million people, making it the sixth most populous city in Japan. However, Kobe lies between the median tectonic line and the Arima Takatsuki line, directly in the path of seismic activity. At 5.46am on Tuesday the 17th of January 1995, a magnitude 7.2 earthquake struck, with the epicenter in Osaka Bay, just 20 kilometres to the southwest of Kobe's central business district. The earthquake had a shallow depth of just 14 kilometres, and there was a 30 to 50 kilometre rupture of a fault directly below the city. To make matters worse, the coastal location of Kobe left it vulnerable to soil liquefaction. Soil liquefaction occurs when particles within the soil lose contact with one another when a load is applied. When this happens, the soil behaves more like a liquid and loses much of its ability to support structures. This occurs most frequently during tremors in areas where the soil is saturated, as the water is able to rise to the surface and act as a lubricant, with devastating results. One of the most graphic examples was in the earthquake that struck Mexico City in 1985. The city is constructed in a former lake bed, and entire buildings simply fell on their side or sank slightly into the ground. The earthquake that struck Kobe had devastating effects on the city. 6,300 people were killed, with 60% of these aged over 60. 35,000 people were injured, and 300,000 were made homeless, which represented 20% of Kobe's population at the time. 300 fires were reported, but tackling them was even more inexpedient than expected, as 70% of the city's water system had been destroyed. In total, more than 100,000 buildings were destroyed, including 80% of the central business district, and the port facilities were severely damaged. One of the most striking images of the disaster was of the Hanshin Expressway, which collapsed in several places, including a single 630-metre section. The Sanomiya district suffered major ground deformation, causing extensive damage to buildings, including tilting, the collapse of a single storey, known as a pancaking, and the total collapse of buildings, in spite of the widespread use of earthquake-proofing measures to prevent such severe damage. The total cost of the damage caused by the earthquake and the ensuing fires was estimated at 99.3 billion US dollars, with the reconstruction bill totaling $120 billion. The government's response to the earthquake has been widely criticised, with a five-hour delay before troops were mobilised, and only 200 troops were initially called up to deal with the aftermath of the disaster. It took a further four days before 30,000 troops were assisting the recovery effort. The government also took several days to declare the city disaster zone, with electricity only returning to Kobe after three days. It took until June for public services to be restored, with the first parts of the Hanshin Expressway reopened in October. The restoration of the expressway was completed in 1996. The Japanese government had initially declined offers of international aid following the earthquake, as they saw it as unnecessary, as they had sufficient supplies to deal with the event themselves, although agencies did arrive to assist the rescue effort. The Yakuza Crime Syndicate were one of the most proficient organisations in assisting those affected by the disaster, something they replicated following the tsunami in 2011. However, in spite of the largest reconstruction effort in an MEDC since the Second World War, many businesses have been unwilling to return to Kobe, meaning that it has been more difficult for the 20,000 people made redundant by the disaster to find new jobs. Kobe had a high population density prior to the earthquake, at nearly 3,000 people per square kilometre. 
The fact that the tremor struck early in the morning meant that most people were inside, so many were trapped in their homes following the catastrophe. However, the earthquake struck before the morning rush hour, and this meant that fewer people were using the Hanshin Expressway when it collapsed, potentially saving hundreds of lives. Japan remains the most earthquake-ready nation on the planet, with all school children participating in mandatory fire and earthquake drills four times per year. Earthquake kits are also on sale in department stores. These contain a bucket to extinguish fires, bottled water, food, a radio, a torch, a first aid kit, and protective headgear. Many companies and government offices observe Disaster Prevention Day on the 1st of September each year, where drills are held and earthquake kit promotions are held in stores. However, the scale of the crisis which beset Japan in 2011 shows that there is still progress to be made to battle earthquakes, even in the most prepared country on Earth.